case. So let's talk about mask mandates for a second. Mask mandates, restrictions, we know they are lifting across many parts of our country right now, but there's a writer for The Atlantic that points out the coronavirus thrives in colder months. This is something we have all learned. And they are now suggesting we shift the school year so the kids have a longer break in the winter, a.k.a. peak germy season, and then perhaps stay in school <laughs> in the summertime. Guys, this is really controversial. Sin, are you into this no, idea? No, I'm not into this what? idea at all. Because you still need to find stuff for kids to do, A. You're going to have to, and unless your kid is yeah. really into, like, winter sports, they are not going to necessarily be into those types of camps, I, a.k.a. my son. Plus, remember our horny teenage years? Like, the, everything is associated with, like, school's out for summer, right? Like, you're just, like, you're get, getting out, your songs, you're, you're out there in the heat. I'm I confused. don't want to... What? Because that was great when we were young and horny, but is that what you're saying you want for your son? I, I'm for sure. I don't want to, <laughs> not, not at this age, but I don't want to deprive him from experiences <laughs> in life, you know, that are associated with that. They're he happening with or without school, P.S. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I don't know. It doesn't make sense this, to me. This, this story, you hit on something, Cynthia, that we kind of mythologized the summers we used to have. Like, my summers were completely unstructured, and I was just like out there playing until the street lights, you know, came on. Yeah. I remember all the, the parents in the summer standing on the porch, 8.30 around, you know, then you'd have to go inside. And I was thinking if it were winter, I'm not, I'm not opposed to the idea entirely, but if it were winter, I mean, it's dark at 4.30. Hey, can I read a comment from Brian on Twitter? He said, year round schooling is the norm in most countries. Summer off is a relic of our agricultural past, which is no longer necessary. And Brian, you're absolutely right. Like, I don't think most parents need our, our free labor to bring in the crops, you know, <laughs> in the summertime. So it, it is an interesting thing. <laughs> I'm putting up my hand Why because, do do it? because summer, I mean, obviously on a horse farm, all my summers were hauling hay bales, Work. getting hay ready for the fall and winter ahead. It was landscaping. It was painting fences. It was all that garbaggio. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, farm kid here. I hear you, Jess. As a parent who is currently doing this right now, and any parent who's uh, got, you know, sort of the school-age kid, it is the Hunger Games to get a spot in Correct. summer camps. Yep. And so let's talk about, one, is trying to find summer camps. Number two, trying to afford summer camps. Uh, we are a two-income household in our place, and we spend so much money in the eight to nine weeks that It's the Marteza same in winter, though. You would be no, doing no, the same thing. Yeah, I was just going to say, wouldn't you have to no, do no, the no, exact be, same thing? It would be, I, from my understanding, it sounds like it might not necessarily be like, oh, it's two months off all of winter. I don't know if I read that differently. I thought they would break up perhaps more of the break. So instead of like eight or nine weeks off in the winter, it might be four weeks and they spread it out. But maybe, but, but, but point is, nine or eight weeks in the summertime as it stands today, it is just draining bank accounts. It is very hard to get in. And it really is like in a day and age where inflation is through the roof, gas prices are through the roof. Like, I really feel like sitting Marquez on the floor with a coloring book is going to be our summer. You know, kid, just figure it out. Maybe <laughs> here at the office. Like, it, it, is, um, it is a very real thing. And it's very hard on parents when you look at the cost and the quick ones that people snap I up, just don't the see that you're sol solving this problem because you're still going to have to find something for the kids to do during that time off. Plus, it's only two months. There's a long, cold season. Lainey, back me up on this. <laughs> No, no, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, I, I think that if it's ease for parents and, you know, trying to do away with this Hunger Games situation, going back to Brian's comment, like, why didn't we consider year-round school? Yeah. Well, it's already happening in actual, I know, at least in Ontario, there's several school boards where school starts August 10th. They're only off for the entire month of July, and then they break up those four weeks with extra breaks throughout the year. Parents are loving it. Yeah, I just hope they would change the curriculum a little there bit. There you my, go. My kid is like, yes. What needs a break? I, I remember needing a break from school a little bit. I, mentally. You know what? They they, they can't if yeah, they go that's, all year Cynthia, round. They to can't that, have to your homework. point, the reason why you needed a break is because everything was crammed into a shorter period of time. Yes. If the school year is extended, then you don't have to cram everything into that short period of time, and then maybe the learning is different. Like, I'm not a kid anymore. I don't care. 
<laughs> if I don't get a summer holiday. Too bad for you kids. Um, but again, if this is about alleviating the stress for the parents, which frankly, it's a lot about the parents, then year-round school, you don't have to worry about this camp hunger games situation. You, for the most part, don't have a disruption to your cycle and your schedule, except for, you know, like winter holidays, your usual winter holidays, Easter, whatever. And everybody's happy, year-round school, let's go. Let's go, I'm in for that. I'm Salt. in for that, like we'll Salt. figure that. I mean, COVID and all of that stuff, you know, considered, I actually think this also makes a lot of financial sense as well. So anyways, to be continued. Mm -hmm.